Alrighty, so I almost always check out Kubuntu, the next version, in this case 24.10, before it releases. And I usually do it sometime around the time of feature freeze so that there's not going to be a lot of changes to it. And that's the case here. We should be, I know we're in a soft feature freeze. I think we're in a hard feature freeze at this point because it releases in a month. A lot of new things coming to Kubuntu 24.10. So I'm going to start this install and we're going to talk a little bit while it's installing. If I run out of things to say, which is <laughs> not real likely, then I'll uh, pause it and then we'll pick it up on the reboot. So here we go. This is 24.10. This is the next version coming out next month. Kubuntu is still one of my heartfelt favorite distros in Linux. If you want a rolling release, go with Tumbleweed. If you don't need a rolling release, I still recommend Kubuntu. At one time I didn't because snaps sucked. Snaps are a lot better now. There's still issues with them, but snaps are a lot better now. Hit try Kubuntu. And real quick, that was actually really quick. We're into the load screen. And I'm on a VM, so the display setting is not correct. We're going to fix that real quick. 19 by 10, hit apply. Keep. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see what, what we have here in the info center. This is a daily build, so even if there's an update coming, once I install it, there shouldn't be a whole lot to it. So we're going to go ahead and check the info center. And I knew that we were going to get Plasma version 6.1, but I didn't know it was going to be 1.5. So that's nice. Uh, Frameworks version 6.5.0, Qt 6.6.2, kernel 6.8.0. They are going to, my understanding is, and it might not hit on this particular version, but going forward, I've heard that Ubuntu is going to use the release client or re release candidate of the next kernel version while they're doing their uh, development. So we'll get we'll get newer and newer kernels as they become available going forward in Ubuntu in Ubuntu and derivatives going forward. I think I said that right. Okay, so I want to I want to compare this to my tumbleweed. And I can do that right here and here. This is what I have on my current tumbleweed, which is currently updated as of not very long ago. Let me. Okay, here we go. So I have 6.1.5, which they do, 6.5.0, same. Qt version 6.6.2 versus my 6.7.2. Kernel version 6.8.0-31 compared to my 6.10.9-1. So, very close. Not disappointing at all. So, I get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I got it. One more thing in there. The live session of your installer starts up in platform graphics x11 i'm sure they're doing that for compatibility reasons i have no doubt and i really don't blame them wayland's come a long way wayland on my system is amazing and awesome but your mileage may vary so that i'm sure they did that for compatibility reasons all right let us do an install Oof, that's ugly. I mean, that's uh, that's a Ubuntu color. So I'm sure they'll fix this before release. Still a lot of time just to do some cosmetics. This, I'm sure, will be Kubuntu blue going forward. It found my correct time zone, which it didn't. It hasn't done that in a long time. Uh, you have full, normal, minimal. Under full, you also install these additional third-party packages if you want them. Element. Virtual Machine Manager, and Krita. 
and you also have the option to download and install updates following the installation. I'm gonna hit next. Erase disk. It's a brand new. It's a brand new disk, basically. Uh, it defaults to ext4. You also have btrfs, butterfs, and xfs. I'm going to select butterfs because I want to see if it has a rollback feature with butterfs. I don't know if it does or not. I want to know. I'm gonna hit next. Set me up. And I'm not going to log in automatically because I want to see the options. If there is, Wayland is supposed to be available by default. So let's see if Wayland is available by default. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and set login automatically so that I can see what the default login session is going to be. And we'll hit next. And then we're going to hit install. Install now. Oh, there's your, there's your Kubuntu Blue. And this is this is what 22 or 24.04 looks like right here. That's what I expect them to do again. So I had to stop for a minute and take care of the dogs and it got done quickly. This is really quick. Now, granted, I'm used to uh, OpenSUSE, which is really slow on install. But this was really quick. So we're going to go ahead and restart. Done. I want to see what session it logs into by default. Could be they have it, if it detects AMD, it's going to go Wayland, and NVIDIA, it's going to go X, but we'll see. So I installed uh, 24.04 on Sweetie's laptop, no, desktop, two days ago. And... Kubuntu is one of those distros that's great for grandma or it's great for the IT nerd whose wife doesn't want her computer to ever fail her. Hint, hint. So we're going to hit skip. Now right here it says Wayland Diagnose. FCITX should be launched by Quinn under KDE Wayland. Does that mean I'm in Wayland? Uh, to configure this, you need to go to System Settings Virtual Keyboard and select FCITX5 from it. You may also need to disable tools. Okay, we'll check that out shortly. Let me go ahead and fix the display. Uh, 19 by 10. So that tells me that doesn't keep your display setting from live session to install. And I know some of them do. This isn't one of them. Easy fix. So let's go into, actually, let's first. First thing we're going to do, we're going to see if there's any updates. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's see if there's any updates. No updates. Okay, alrighty. Now let's check info. What are we running? We are running Wayland by default. Sweet. Now, granted, I do have an AMD card. And again, I don't know. I can test it on that one. But that one's such a pain in the butt. It really is. But it is my NVIDIA test machine, so I will do that eventually. Huh. Do we have... It doesn't look like we have... Okay. We do have... Okay. So I'm going to go real quick into... Effects, no? Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. I need to be in this. Now we can find effects. Uh, desktop effects because I like I like wobbly windows. I don't see it. Do not see wobbly windows.
Interesting. Interesting. So it doesn't have wobbly windows by default. Okay, this will be something I need to figure out because I like it. All right. No big deal. No big... Oh, you know what? Nope, that ain't it. We need to find input devices. Uh, virtual keyboard, that's what we're looking for. It just said if it just said that one, didn't it? But that one's a Wayland launcher. I don't know which one I need. Hmm, I don't know. Is that does one of these take the place of Malite keyboard? I don't know. I'm gonna have to put this on my laptop to try it. Absolutely. Hit apply. We'll go with that. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Now Firefox is a snap. And when I installed Kubuntu 24.04 on Sweetie's computer two days ago, I fired up Firefox for the first time and it launched really quickly. But it doesn't matter, she's a Google Chrome girl, so that problem's not a problem. Let's see how long it takes. Mm, yeah, yeah, it was okay. Nothing to write home about. All right. And let's see what we have about Firefox. We have Firefox 130.0. Pretty sure is the most recent. Mozilla Firefox Snap for Ubuntu. Just as I said. One thing I do want to check, I know there's a lot of problems with the snap of Steam. But let's go into Discover. We're going to look for Steam and we're going to see if there's an alternative to snap by default. There are different ways to install Steam, but I want to see if it's there by default. Steam, Steam Launcher, the Snap. Okay, Steam Installer, right there it is. Uh, install from Ubuntu, full access. Da da da, da da da. And it is not the Snap, because that one is the Snap. See the less stars? Three and a half or three and a quarter versus four. So that would be the way to install it right there. Okay. It's there by default. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Okay, so now we're going to run Steam and see what we get. Proprietary software, yeah, we know that. Steam will, okay. So, considering that Steam is basically coming from Steam, the the versions from rolling release or not rolling release should be the same steam and there it is sweet so we're going to look at a couple of other things. Uh, let's take a look at what version Kate we have. 24.08.1. We are going to compare that to Tumbleweed. Rolling release. So let's get Kate. That's it. Help. Out. Uh, check that out. It's so close. 
24.08.1 versus 24.08. Man, this ain't right. This is not right. Kabuntu has a more current version of Kate than Tumbleweed. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, so what else can we check? What else can we check? Uh, do we care about Gwenview? Well, Thunderbird. A lot of people use Thunderbird. And including me. So let's go here and help. That's what it is. About Thunderbird. So there's our Kubuntu Thunderbird. Nope. About Thunderbird. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no way. ESR 128.2.0. ESR. What's the ESR? Is is supernova nebula? Dynamic toolbar presenting frequently used in contextual options. Okay. Thunderbird 128 Nebula. One twenty eight. One twenty eight. I'm on one fifteen on Tumbleweed. Oh my god, this is blowing my mind. Seriously, boom. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm just, I am absolutely 100% impressed. And a little jealous. Okay, I want to check. Does Kubuntu have access to Malite keyboard? Should. Apt search mail it. Oh, did I ever do an update? I did. Okay, apt search malite keyboard. It does virtual on screen keyboard based on malite framework. How many dependencies? Actually, 2.3.1.6. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Two dot three dot one dash three versus dash six. How? This is not supposed to happen. This is crazy. I'm super impressed. I really am. This is blowing my mind. What else can we look at? I'm curious. You want to look at LibreOffice? Hmm. There's not really a whole lot of else. 
Okay, so let's let's look at Caden Live. Is it on, on Ubuntu? Is it info or show? I can't re ever remember that. We'll try info. Uh, Caden Live. Okay. Versus ten ta da. And da -da. And again, zipper slow. It really is. Okay. That's just Okay. Ignore the four, I believe. <clears throat> so it's twenty four dot zero eight dot one versus 24.08.0 Is this This is crazy. I'm I'm blown. Absolutely. Uh what else do I use? I know I need to know Ink Stitch or Inkscape rather. Well, I know Inkscape hasn't put out a different update, so that should be the same. Apt info inkscape. That should be the same. It should be one well, no, oh, we're ahead of one two. I'm pretty sure we're one three. Make. Yeah, Tumbleweed's got 1.3.2. That was a that was the 98 percent of the reason that I left Kubuntu in the first place. Because in order to run Ink Stitch, when I found Ink Stitch, I needed the next version of Inkscape, and even the development version of Ubuntu and derivatives didn't have that next version. So I jumped ship, went to rolling release, so I could get that next version for Ink Stitch. That's 100%. That's like 98% of why I jumped ship from Kubuntu. And I did it right before snaps happened, and then I wasn't disappointed. Now that snaps are better, yeah, you know, give and take. There's problems with every single distro out there, something or another, here and there. Every one of them. Anybody that says otherwise is either lying to you or lying to themselves. Okay, what else? What else? I am so curious. Let me see. What do I use regularly? Uh, I don't use Digicam regularly, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Okay. Oh, I did show. I don't know why. Uh, I used something back in the day that said show instead of info, and I just never could deprogram myself. All right. And I think, I think now you can go to Inkscape.org and actually get development versions and different versions, .deb packages, I think. Okay, so we are 8.4.0-3, 8.4.0-2.1. Eight four zero eight four zero. And you know what? Digicam is more current on Kubuntu daily build than it is on Tumbleweed. Alrighty.
I don't think I use much else. I guess we could info Firefox, which... Does that work with a snap? Or do I have to do snap info Firefox? I have no idea. Yeah, I guess it worked. Now that's kind of cool. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Okay, ESR stable and latest stable are two different things. Installed is latest stable one three zero hyphen or dot zero hyphen two. Okay, so that's that's easy enough. You know if I leave this right about here, I don't have to keep moving it. So zipper info Firefox. You know, now that I'm playing around with Apt again, I'm once again being amazed by how slow Zipper is. And, of course, it can't find it because it's, I think it's Firefox ESR or something like that. So let's just do it this way. 129.0.1 One, two, nine. One two nine versus one three zero. Kubuntu has a more current version. I mean, no. Yeah, Kubuntu has a more current version of Firefox in the form of Snap. Just out of curiosity. Okay, it's it's the Snap. Okay. I'm good with that. I don't think there's a lot of else. Um, OBS. Let's look at OBS. That's what I'm using to record. I use it pretty often. Um, apt info. Is it just OBS? OBS Studio? OBS? Hyphen Studio, OBS Hyphen Studio, yep, Hyphen Studio, so 30.2.3, and I'm at 30.2.3, so that's actually the same, which is impressive, man, I'm... Man, I'm fixing to put this on my laptop. 100%. Okay, so there's one thing that I forgot to do that I meant to do. And that is to take a little bit closer look at Inkscape, make sure it's not a snap. And I don't think it was. And it is not. It's in universe. So it's not a snap, which means my Ink Stitch plugin in will install sweet, fine and dandy. Absolutely. In fact, I like the new layout of apt. There's a lot of things there. Suggested packages. Say yes. Okay, so Inkscape's installed and I in, and I downloaded Inkstitch with Firefox. Let's see if it's in the downloads folders, which it should be. And it is. So let's double click that. See what it opens up in. It is opening up in Discover. That was quick. Okay, still loading. That was quick. Holy smokes, that was quick. So, install. Password. Should have ran Inkscape first, but I think we'll be all right on Linux. We shall see. It is done. Let's fire up some Inkscape. And save, thanks, new document, Inkscape 1.2. That's a little disappointing. 
Ink stitch about. Ink stitch. Boom. There it is. Ah, oh, that's the one point two is disappointing. Really is. So let's see what the options are. There's probably a PPA out there if you want to trust a PPA, which is about as trustworthy as AUR and can be about as trustworthy as OPI with Tumbleweed. They're all user repositories. So um, what did I say? Inkscape.org. And they are on 1.3. They do have a beta. And the only option is app image. Hmm. That bites. Current stable version. If I click Linux, it does an app image or PPA, so I can get the PPA of the 1.3. So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So I'm going to, we do this one, copy. I'm gonna make sure it's in line, okay. And, Paste. Um, enter to continue. And that's actually a PPA from Inkscape.org as far as I can tell. So that's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? It's because I'm on the daily build. Okay, I might have to work on that later. I haven't used Kubuntu seriously in a really long time. But this is fixing to go on my laptop. I'm going to make this work. And I'm going to show you how I made it work. It's not hard, I just can't find the thing that I'm looking for. And haven't used Kubuntu in a while, so I think I mentioned that. Anyway, very cool, it's easy to get Inkscape 1.3, Inkstit, it's, it's not a snap. It is a PPA, which works the same as an apt repository. So Inkstitch will work fine and well with that. And I'll be on the same version on Kubuntu that I am on Tumbleweed. Man, this Kubuntu is looking Amazing. Just amazing. I've got nothing else to say. Just, wow. Now, the real kicker is going to be, if I put it on my laptop, my virtual keyboard going to work? Is Malite going to work like it's supposed to? Because it still doesn't work like it's supposed to in Tumbleweed. And I'm very, very disappointed in that. Among a few other things, and that video's coming because there's a few things in Tumbleweed that are starting to really disappoint me. That video's coming. Stay tuned. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you made it this far, I definitely appreciate it. And like and subscribe if you think I'm worthy. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching.